Coach Prime Colorado Buffaloes had their practice on yesterday. Things got very chippy. I'm very excited to react to this video. I react to unfair practice. Shout out to Well Off Media. Every other city I go from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a hit for I know. My people know it's mad dog, TV, let's go. To every other city, every city I go from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a hit for I know. We having contact. <laughs> Take care of you guys. Like I'm gonna tell you, do not touch the receivers. Don't get near the quarterback and leave Travis alone. We got that? Sir. We understand that. Yes, sir. I'm not playing favors, I'm just being 100. It is what it is. When you get to the next level, every quarterback is worth 250 million, right? Mm -hmm. You think they're gonna let you touch it? Yeah, All right, so let's play like we're on the next level. We good with that? Yes, sir. Let's protect that quarterback. Let's go get that passer. Let's go get it. Let's go get this, all right? Yes, sir. All right. Let's be the best that we can be. Uh, Charlie, break him down, baby. Hey! Hey, Charlie! Hey, Charlie. family on three. One, two, three. Coach Prime is absolutely correct right off the bat. The quarterback is the most high and paid position in football. Taking care of Travis Hunter is very much important as well. This man right here is the best in the country. You have to make sure you have him for the 2024 season. <laughs> This right here is an example of why I say I wish I had a coach like Coach Prime. He don't care if you a walk-on, a five-star, four-star, it don't matter. If you go out there and you work very hard, he's going to reward you. You guys hear him saying, where Charlie, where Charlie? He wants Charlie to go first. And that's absolutely amazing because I'm going to tell you guys, as a former player, I'm telling you, a lot of coaches do not like to give the shine to the walk-on players. And it's actually a little bit weird, but Coach Prime don't care about that. The best man wins. My coach used to always tell me the second team line is more important than the first team line. I know a lot of you may be asking, what do you mean by that? Well, usually in a football game, as far as the natural atmosphere, players going to get injured, players going to get tired. Your second team is going to be the next you know, team and line to go out there and participate. So you want to make sure they are just as good as the first team because you never know injuries, fatigue, a player in front of you may not just be performing to the capabilities of the coaches. So Great defense right there by Preston Hodge. 
very high expectations for this DB right here to transfer. This kid right here can definitely play. I'm very excited to see how he does this 2024 season. Elbows tight, thumbs up pretty much means elbows tight, thumbs up, and you want to get into the chest of those shoulder pads. You know what I'm saying? You want to hook up here, and that way you can control the defensive lineman. So that's what he means by elbows tight, thumbs up. I love that vocal leadership that's displayed of LaJonte Wester. I know this may be a small thing to a lot of people, but the little things like this is what every team needs. This was one of the things I was hoping to see from the team last year's guys speaking up motivating their guys to do the best that they can be because I'm going to tell you guys, this actually works with your teammate. When you out there on the football field and you hear somebody like LeJounte Weston saying, hey, let's go, Malcolm, or hey, let's go, Johnny, that right there is going to make you feel like, hey, I need to go, you know what I'm saying? They're playing the wrong wall. Right now, we got all right practice, just all right. Everybody saving it. So right now, we got team, full speed thud. Full speed thud, do not touch the receivers. Do not touch the quarterback. This is full speed thud. That means form up on the darn uh, running backs. You can hit them. Don't don't wrap them up. Just stud them up. All right. We're gonna go full speed on and off the field. In between, we're gonna get the play in. We're gonna get off the field. We got subs. We're gonna go full speed everything. Hey, we got that. Yes, sir. Stay on time. We good? Yes, sir. We had four. We had five plays. We're gonna cut that down to four. So each group has four plays, full speed. If you can't go four plays, coach, get them off the field. Do not put them back in. We understand that. Yes, sir. Let's see the type of energy these guys give and team. You don't want to save it. You want to give it every single thing you have. Even if that means the coach got to damn near carry you off the football field, you want to go hard, man. These weeks is very essential for Colorado Buffalo because, once again, as I said before last yesterday, I'm saying today, this is not the only team that's grinding, putting in hard work. Everybody working. Everybody grinding. Somebody is outworking somebody, and you want to be damn sure that you're giving it 100% every single day my final thoughts is a very good video i want to see a little bit more as far as the effort from the players i want to hear more positive speeches from coach prime as far as the way these guys giving it more effort because just like yesterday in the day coach prime feel like these guys are saving it and that's not good because once again as i said before this is not the only team that's putting in hard work and with that going to show in the football game trust and believe me what they do right now to august the 28th 29th that's going to dictate how the football game is going to go, especially if North Dakota State is putting in a lot of hard work. 
or any other team that they're going to play for the upcoming season. Shout out to Well Off Media. I have a lot more in this video for you guys to check out. I will have a link to this video and his channel in the description. One more thing I know you guys may be wondering. Why do the team play music during practice and all of this? Listen, during the actual game, the crowd stadium is very, very loud. This right here, playing music, helps them being able to focus on the play calls, communicating with your teammates, all of those things. So it keeps you focused and prepared in a game-like setting. So that's why they, a lot of teams actually play music during practice, just in case you guys was wondering. And if you guys like the video, definitely subscribe to the channel. Peace.